A-level computer science investigating project. 3D Maze Runner game. My name is Lao Cheng He. Candidate number seven three two nine. Center number one six three o one. Test number one. Start the game. The title of the game, the game maker, and warning, and continue prompt is shown on the screen. Test number two, click on the loading screen. Test number three, the image is fade out. At the pop-up of the login reminder will be shown, and menu button will be available to click, and login state will be shown on the bottom right of the screen. Test four. Click. Sorry, it's I think it's test five. Test file. Click on the continue button. Oh. Oh. Test for the button will be disabled. The the continue button is disabled. Test number six. Click on certain button. It will have the login panels pop up to login. Uh, I close it. Here it is. The test number seven. Close the login screen. And. Test number eight. Click on the video option. It will have FOV and minimap uh, setting change. Uh, I mean slider. Test number nine. Click on audio option. SFX and music volume can be controlled. Test number ten. Click on graphic setting. Graphic option. There's a brightness option. Test number eleven. Click on the control option. You have sensitivity of the turning around and the joystick start size. Test number 12. Change the SFX volume and test after setting closed. I will change the SFX volume to zero, which is mute. And it should mute with the size. It's mute, yeah. It's mute. Test number 13. Change the setting and restart the game. I will change all the setting into the highest. And brightness to zero and everything is highest. Save. When, when it's closed, um, we start the game.
where once the game is restarted, check on the setting panel. The audio, everything keeps the audio keeps the same setting as before, but others others doesn't. Test number fourteen. Click on the quit button menu. Test fifteen. Click on the cancel button. It will close the panel. Test seventeen. Click on the leaderboard button menu. It will show up an empty leaderboard and pop up. Uh, click on the username column, which is player name column. It will sort the data with the latest data. Uh, click on the game mode. It will sort by the game mode. Click on the level, it will sort by the level, and click on score, it will sort by the score. Which is test 19 with the um, level, and test 20 with the time. Test 31, click on the A button. It will show up on an external browser with the, with the best player and score, best player and score, and the average statistics. When I click on the Square button, it will show each player uh, the best score of, of each level of each player. Test 31 complete, test 32, the square button complete. Test 23. Login. Oh, sorry. Test. Test thirty. Enter the email and password. But oh. Test 41, the yellow detail button. It will show the detail and the slot number. Test 42, click on one of the computer icons. Uh, it will load to the animation. Difficulty panel has been started. Choose the highest level in test 45 and click OK continue in test 44. Test 46. There are four character cards showing on the screen. Test 47. Click on the yellow detail box. 
it will show the player the character name, the gender, and the detail of the character with with the pro profile picture. Same as everyone. So I will click on Thomas and click on Yep button. Uh, it will pass back to the main menu with a prompt to click continue. Click continue to play. This is a prompt. Test 47 and 48 complete. Test 52 when the loading screen appear. So when I click the continue, it, the loading screen should appear. It has a loading bar, a loading circle just happened, and and test 52 complete. Test 53 leave the loading screen more than 15. Second. As you see, the, the test is changing every three seconds. So when I click on the loading screen, it should enter the maze itself, the maze game. Test 54. Click on a camera button. It will change the perspective. Test fifty five. Move the right, move the left joystick. The character is moving. I think it's better. The character is moving. Move the right joystick. Click on jump button. The character will jump. Click on the couch button. The character walk quite slowly. Uh, test 55 to 56 complete, 57 complete, 58 complete. Test 59, when the maze game is load, the tie monster killed has, is shown on the top right button, a uh, top right session in the screen. 59 complete. Test 60. Click on the X icon. The attack icon is changed to an X. X. Click on the click on the trap button, and the attack item will change to the trap. Test 61 complete. Test 63. Click on the attack button with X icon. 
So I throw an x. If throw an x to fold it. Throw it. Test 63 complete. Test 64. Click on the attack button with trap icon. Bye bye. Test eighty seven. Go close to the monster and attack by the monster for a long time. A game over screen will be load indicate the player has been lost. So test 87 complete. Test 91. When the game over scene is load, the screen will show up the level difficulty, score, time required of the player. Test 92. Click on the continue button and, and currently I'm not logged in. The login panel will show up. 92 complete. Test 93. When the login panel show up, the close button will automatically disable because I haven't logged in yet. Test 93 complete. Here is the test. 30. I have to register. Okay, this is the register screen. Enter email and password but leave the username field blank. Okay, email, I would use test, sorry, test, oh, it's not, this is not email, testing, at shalef.ml, password, I will use ss1235467 I click submit, it will say all fields are required. Test 30 complete. It will show a warning of all fields is complete. Test 31. Enter more than 20 characters in username. I would use this is a testing username that more than 20 car as my username. This is a testing username that is more than 20 digits. As you can see, the character that is more than 20 characters will be ignored. Test 31 complete. Test 32. Enter an invalid email address. I will put in hi at Google, as this is not a correct we just for email. 
All right. Hi. Dot com. Um. The password. I will put in hi dot com as my email. As this is not a valid email address. I will use username as test account two, and the email will be testing two at sha left dot ml, and leave the password field blank. And warning of all field required will be shown. Test thirty three complete. Test thirty four only enter lowercase number in the password field. I will put in S one two three four five six seven eight as my password. Warning has been shown. The password must at least contain one uppercase, one lowercase, and one number. Test thirty four. Enter less than eight character in password. One two three four five six. The password must be at least eight characters long. Test thirty four thirty five complete. Test thirty six. Enter common words in password field. S S one two three four five six seven eight. One two three four five six seven eight. Wait a moment. Okay, here's the here's the the password I have typed in. And error have been shown, saying my password is too common. So I will I will enter one two three five four six seven eight as my Test ninety five. Entering a correct email, username, and password field for register. Testing to at Charlotte dot ML S S one two three five four six seven eight. Uh, click submit. Dupli oh, yeah, duplicate. Test account two. Testing two at Shalef dot ml. S S one two three five four six seven eight. A register successful screen will be shown.
when I go back to my game, I will enter password but leave the email field empty. I put in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And it will say the email field is blank. I will test 23 complete. Test 24. Enter less than 8 digit of password. 1, 2, 7. Observe. Oh, 6, 7. And you say password length must be longer than 8 characters. Test 24 complete. Test 25. Enter registered email but wrong password. I will enter testing at testing to at charlotte.ml and wrong password which is the wrong password. It will show the password is wrong. Now I will enter the correct password. It will show locked in. And test 27. Close button on the screen. Close the button. The login state is my username, which is test28. The login state is automatically updated. Test29, we start the game and see the login state has changed or not. The login state remain my previous session, test account 2, and test 37, click login when logged in. Okay. The login screen is automatically appear. Um, welcome back screen with my username is show on the screen. Click on play button. It will close the welcome back screen. Click on the not you button. And uh, 37 and 38 objective is complete. Yeah, I start my game. This time I'll use the highest level. And Mary this time. In the second slot, I'm doing the test 15, which is click on slot 1 and slot 2 in, in start game and compare the maze. I'll choose the menu again to to make sure the criteria is the same. And I click the third one and choose the lowest level, which is test 51. Choose the lowest level in difficulty panel. I choose number six.
I choose to marry again to keep the same criteria. Okay, so test number five. Click on the continue button after a game section is loaded. I'll click on the continue button. Uh, the previous game session will be loaded. Test 75 of oh, sorry. Test 64. Click uh, click on the attack button with the trap icon. And a trap will be set on the floor. Test 69, wait for 24 hours time in game. It's now 17, 18, 19, 20. And a monster will be spawned. Now I'm going to put a trap and lure the monster to the trap which is in test number 65 and deal damage to the monster number 672. The monster has spawned the blood effect and has still some damage to the monster. Test number 66. Uh, sorry, test number 67. Walk near to the monster. The monster will chase me, so it's completed. Test number 68. Walk closely to the monster. My player health is deducted because I have walked too closely to the monster. Test 68 complete. Test number 66 and test number 7. Test number 71. I'm going to throw an axe to the monster. And the monster is dead and blood has instantiated. However, test level 30, 71, it doesn't go as expect because nothing is dropped on the ground. When the maze game starts, the, a maze is open. One of the maze is open. Test number 75 completed. Test number 76. Wait for 24 hours time in game. So the next will be like, now is like 13. 
Alright, now I, I will do test number 84. Click on the heal button. And the health bar has a little blue animation when the health increase. Test number test number seventy six complete. The next gate is opened. Click on the skip button. On the left button button. The next gate is opened. Test number eighty five. When the maze is loaded, the player has maximum health. Test number eighty six. Go close to the monster and attack. But the monster has deducted my health. It is completed. Go through the maze in test 79 and 80. I'm going to go through the maze. Test XP complete. Okay, I'm going to compare the number five maze. Number five maze, he is the shirt exit to the ex exit gate or outermost base. I uh, quit the game and start game one. We were just in game three so it's different game. In comparison to number five is completely different maze. When we go to the slot two of the game. The main structure is randomized. It's not the same as slot one. So a uh, test fifty and fifty one, the comparison of the highest and lowest level and slot one and slot two with the same level difficulty is compared and both are different. When I go back to go back click on the pause button pause menu is shown when I click on the flag button. It um test number eighty eight complete. Test number eighty nine click on the continue button. And it will go back to the game. And the timer resume. When I click on the flag button, um, and continue, the time is resume. It pause and resume. When I click on the flag button, and click on the quit button, it will.
go back to the main menu. So test 90 complete. And I restart the game. And, and I play I click on start game and here's my latest playtime. When I click on the red cross button, the last play is the last play time is different, which is a default time of um empty slot. And the continue button is disabled. Test 40 complete. And I click on the previous session. I have to go through the maze and one of the exit tunnels is spawned. Not here, so I will go back. Now I'll go to the next opening maze. When I go far from the griefer, they won't chase me. When I walk against to the wall, the wall will stop me, like stop me from passing through the wall, which is test number 78. I'm do I'm now doing test number eighty, which is going through the maze and find the exit tunnel. Here's the exit tunnel platform. Go near to the exit gate, which is here, and the password panel will show up. Go near to the exit gate and enter a correct password the, which is the opening sequence of the maze so when I click on when I click on skip button the maze will the next opening maze will open let me write down my opening sequence Three, zero, seven, one, five, seven, one, five, four, six, two, four, six, two. This is the eight digit password that we need for opening the gate. Three, zero, seven, one, five, four, six, two. Three zero seven one five four six two. When the correct but the correct password is typed in, the exit tunnel will be appeared. Go through the exit. When the player pass through the tunnel.
Hey, congratulations! You, I have escaped from the cage. You shown on the um game over screen, and then I click on the click button, which is test number ninety four. The the main menu will show up. 